Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at Maxwell Boltzmann distribution curves, what the different points on the curves mean, how the curves will change your temperature and how the curves will change with a catalyst. If you want thousands of questions to practice your chemistry with, if you want to thoroughly check you understood everything in this video, then the questions are waiting for you over my website. A Maxwell Boltzmann distribution curve can be used to plot the number of particles at any given energy when you've got a gas or a solution. Because within this gas or solution, there will be particles that have a range of different energies. Not all the particles are going to have the same value for energy. On the graph, we can plot the activation energy. And any particles that have more energy than the activation energy will have enough energy to react successfully. But this will not be all of the particles within a solution or a gas. There are a few important points to note on a Maxwell distribution curve. No particles are going to have zero energy. The number of particles can be found by working out the area under the graph. There is no maximum value for the amount of energy that a particle have. So the line will never touch the x-axis. The highest peak of the graph is the most probable energy that a particle have. This is lower than the average energy across all the particles in the solution or the gas. There are a number of changes that take place to the shape of the Maxwell distribution graph when we change the temperature. At our initial temperature, T1, the particles in pink are the particles that have passed the activation energy. These are the ones that have enough energy to react. When we increase the temperature, show this by drawing a different line on the graph for the increased temperature T2. The activation energy stays the same. But the number of particles that have now passed the activation energy has increased. So at T2, more particles now have the required activation energy, more have enough energy to be able to have an effective reaction. The more effective collisions that take place, this will increase the rate of reaction. The change in rate of reaction by using a catalyst can also be shown on a Maxwell distribution curve. The activation energy for no catalyst, here the number of particles that have enough energy to react can be seen in pink. The introduction of a catalyst will lower the activation energy, shifting it to the left. So not changing the line of the graph, just shifting the point of where the activation energy is. This means there are now the pink and the purple particles that have enough energy to undergo a reaction. Ouch. Mm, a peachy cream.